Hello, all uh, over here. Um, my question is for Sandy. What were you able to do against Fee specifically in the in the second half to kind of slow her down? It seemed just like individual efforts fronting her. Things like that. Yeah, we took away the switching. Um, we took away the switching in the first half too, but in the second half we kept Stewie on her as much as we can, or JJ. Um, and when we did switch, it was an emergency switch, and we'll try to play her as physical and, and crowd her as much as she can. Uh, she's a great player, but you know we had to limit limit her effectiveness, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that in the second half. Hi, everybody. Um, for JJ, it felt like tonight you were operating in a lot more space as compared to the first two meetings. What were you seeing out there that sort of made you feel more comfortable on offense compared to the first two matchups? Um, I don't know. I think that's just what was available. Um, they tried to congest a lot, and um, as usual, our guards are getting downhill. They helped, and then I just played in that space. So just kind of what was available this game. Hey, John Quell. There were a couple of times in that first half when you were playing in front of your bench that I saw you score buckets and then look immediately. And it looked like you were kind of trying to hype yourself up, have the bench kind of be there for you. I know last week you weren't happy with your performance against the Lynx. Mm -hmm. So how much of that was, was just kind of that built up energy there? That was me looking at the refs. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> she was pumping us up. Yeah, up. I was pumping myself up, you know. Um, Sabrina, for you, um, I asked Sandy pregame about how in these first two meetings against the Lynx, you all didn't take advantage of your size advantage, obviously with both JJ and Stewie matching up against their, their posts. And I asked why that was hard to do. How do you really think that you guys were able to really take advantage <coughs> of that tonight? And also I hope you have more tea and honey. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you know, they're obviously a really great defensive team. And I think, you know, the last time we met with them, uh, we played into their into their hands a little bit and what they were wanting to give us. And so um, this game, just being able to see how much we've grown um, in terms of just understanding what we want to get and um, being able to use, obviously, size advantage on JJ, but not back to the basket, more just face up. She was able to just catch, rip, drive right by, um, get into the paint, get offensive rebounds, and do what she does really well. Um, Stewie was able to catch the ball at the nail, again, shoot um, and, and rip from there. So I think it was more playing almost out of like a ball handling um, position through our bigs because our bigs aren't traditional bigs. They're able to also dribble, shoot, um, and, and move really well with and without the ball. Sabrina, you saw about 36 minutes you played tonight despite everything. Was it just a feeling of wanting to get that get back on them and just feeling you no matter how you were feeling? And Sandy, talk about your defense in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously this was a huge game. You know, it, it's, a, it's a regular season game, but um, they, she's laughing at how I sound. No, we're not laughing at you. We're just laughing at the, the, the fact that they still ask you questions. You can let me talk. Dedication. Give me a break. <laughs> um, at least this can be amplified. Um, but it was obviously, like, they're a great team, and they're, they were 2-0 and against us, and so this was personal. Um, you know, we're playing at home. This um, this was a bigger game than it really was in terms of it being a regular season game, and we had to understand that we had to come out and play our best basketball, and no matter how I felt, I was going to leave everything out on the floor to, to want to come out here and, and win. Yeah, now defense in the fourth quarter, we can be a great defensive team if we want it. It's a commitment. And we committed to it, and like Sabrina said, they've beaten us twice, so you want to try and make sure you get one up over them because we may meet them down the track. Um, but I, I just like to we, – we were aggressive. We were very um, connected on all levels, and to keep this team to 25 points is testament to our defence, especially in that fourth quarter with eight points. It's We haven't done that much this season. <laughs> Sandy, um, how was Benaja, I guess, injury-wise at the end of the third quarter, and were you – I guess at any point worried she wouldn't be able to come back. Um, and, and how did she look in that fourth quarter to you? <laughs> That's a great question because I actually forgot she got injured because I just put her back in in the fourth. But uh, <laughs> they would have told me not to if she was uh, she was too badly injured. Um, Benaja is one of the toughest players out there. You could see how how hard she was competing in that fourth quarter. Hopefully she's okay. We'll give her tomorrow off. Jeff? Hello, all. Uh, congrats on the win, uh, John Quill. Let me uh, congratulate you. All-star all -star nomination? Thank no. You. Yeah? Thank you, thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Val. Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome. Oh, oh deserved. It was a God given, wasn't it? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, to, to that end, um, what does this All-Star nomination mean this time around? It wasn't mean to go up against a player like Sabrina, who you Ooh, formed a you? very strong chemistry with this season. And, you know, how much does it mean to have someone who's clearly under the weather, but, you know, comes out and plays a game like she did today? What does it mean to have a connection with a teammate like that? Yeah, it means a lot, you know. Um, when I came in, I just, I wanted to have that connection with her and, you know, just be a really good teammate for her. And um, like I've said before, our, our chemistry has grown as we spent more time together. Um, and you can see it on the court. But obviously what she did tonight is just, uh, you know, the unselfish part of her. Just she could have stayed home. And like she said, she understands the importance of, uh, of this game. And, you know, that this is a team that kind of had our number and we wanted to kind of be able to get out there and, and kind of show them, you know, what we can do when we play our style of basketball. But, yeah, it's a blessing to, to have a teammate like her. Um, and, you know, I love her, but I'm going to try to block every shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> you know, it's a real game. Right. <laughs> hey, Sandy, oh, back here. Uh, you talked about earlier playing basketball the right way last week. You tried to get stops against Minnesota, just didn't work today. Just only allowed two points in the last seven minutes. Is that just part of the progress you talked about? Yeah, you know, look, it's part of the commitment. You know, defense is about um, hard work. It's, it's it's just, are you, are you willing to do it or not? And we're willing to do it. And we talked about, they've been, this is a team that's beaten us. We can go to another level. I think we've shown that a lot in the fourth quarter this year. Um, we can go to another level defensively. We had some, it's when we broke down, they always scored on it. That's how good the links are. I mean, they had 23 assists on, what, 26 makes. It's pretty impressive. They moved the ball well. But we really honed down. I think we were all connected when we needed to switch. We had better congestion and we rebounded the ball well. Um, and it's something that we can continue to build on. I think you saw the, once again, I went to the, the group um, with Leo in that starting lineup. That's a pretty, uh, pretty tough defensive group for us. And then Hey, John Quill, to emphasize a little bit on, um, you know, the mindset heading into this game and the previous matchups, you know, you, you didn't perform as well as you would like. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to ask, uh, going into this, was this like a statement game for you or, you know, was this a personal game for you answering, fine, you know, answering back with a double-double? You know, um, did you take this, you know, this game very personal? And what did yeah, you I did for sure. You know, I felt like they, uh, they did a good job against me in, you know, in the last two matchups. Um, but, you know, just keeping aggressive no matter what was going on. I think that was the biggest thing. Um, understanding that there's different spots where I can kind of affect the game uh, offensively and defensively. Um, and then just try getting back to myself in terms of rebounding and just, like, attacking the glass. So whether or not it's coming within the offense, I can still find ways to get touches and stuff. So. Okay. Hey, JJ in the back. Um, kind of on that note, on – a night where you are announced as an all-star on a night where you're facing a team that, you know, Sabrina said it's a game bigger than just a regular season game. How gratifying is it to lead, you know, lead all scorers with the double-double after, you know, at the seven points in the first two? Yeah, it was, it felt good, you know, but um, not really the, the scoring, just to be able to win the game in the way that we did it in terms of like just being able to get stops and being really locked in in the fourth, but it definitely feels good to, to, to score against a team that has kind of had my number in the last two matchups. Hello, all. Hey, Coach. Uh, in the previous matchup, we talked about a lot of these unforced errors and kind of kicking yourself in the foot a couple times and still only losing by five points in that matchup. Is tonight just as simple as you guys didn't kick yourselves as much in the foot, especially with the turnovers and the other mishaps on defense? 100%. Now, I said that. We, we looked at we had 14 unforced turnovers where, you know, we didn't need to pass it. Um, you know, maybe they sped us up a little bit. That was in the first game, the second game. Okay, the last game. Um, but look, to have 10 turnovers, we said that was that was important for us, okay? Just keep moving them around. Just have poise where we can. And, and we may not, we both teams didn't shoot the ball well, but it, it goes to show, like, we can buckle down, play defense, take care of the ball. Uh, we can still win a game and we can grind it out. And the crowd was fantastic tonight. And that certainly helped us as well. Awesome. Uh John Quell, it, it seemed like that there was that point in the fourth quarter where there was the offensive foul and then the review was ultimately upheld. It, it felt like the energy kind of went up another notch at that point. Um, Lynx came out and scored, but then you guys, I think, closed on a, like a 15-2 to two run or something like that. Was that a, a turning point for you guys? I mean, I think we, you know, Sandy told us, like, regardless of what the call is, like, 
it is what it is. You know, we can't control that. So um, we just locked in on, on the things that we could control, and we understood that whatever was going to happen, whatever decisions that the ref made, that, you know, it was still a game that was winnable, and um, and we still had, a, like, a personal vendetta in terms of going out there and trying to get a win tonight. Hey, JJ, one more over here. Uh, today, a lot more touches uh, compared to the last games. You brought up the ball a couple more times also got comfortable getting the ball below the arc. Was that a concerted effort to get the ball around there or just the flow of the game just working in your favor? Um, I think the game working in my favor. I think um, just understanding that there's different places where I can get the ball, like, you know, like Sandy and, and Sabrina was talking about, like getting off of the block, um, you know, kind of getting into that elbow area, extending myself out in, in the paint. Um, I think that was the biggest thing and the biggest difference. And then, like you said, bringing the ball down the court, finding open teammates, and just kind of flowing within within the offense, and not kind of just getting stuck, just trying to post up. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.